Hi, I'm Lucas. I'm Katie. And I'm Davida. And today we explore an important question. Does parenting style impact attachment styles in adults? Let's find out. In this video, we will be looking into the attachment style of four different adults and parenting styles that have led into them. There are four different attachment styles and four different parenting styles. A parenting style is a psychological construct representing standard strategies that parents use in their child rearing. Attachment styles refer to the particular way in which an individual emotionally bonds to other people. This is Marco. Marco has a secure attachment style. He builds his relationships on a secure foundation in which he is trusting of others, sets reasonable boundaries, and is a fair companion. At work, he builds strong professional relationships, is a great team player, and excels in completing tasks. In health, Marco deals well with stressors, which has benefited him mentally and physically. We can accredit part of Marco's well-being to his parents. They raised him with an authoritative parenting style. They taught him to be independent while having limitations. This allowed Marco to grow and understand that though there are rules, there are still ways to enjoy life. If he had a bad day, he had family there to listen. When they didn't agree with each other, they still understood where the other one was coming from. Meet Pam, who has an insecure, anxious attachment style. In her relationships, this means she often feels vulnerable and has problems with emotional regulation, including disproportionate situational fear and anxiety, and sees herself as weak, helpless, and dependent on the relationship. Due to Pam's anxious attachment style, she tends towards expecting negative reviews from coworkers and employees in her career. She has more work-related stress due to the strain on those relationships, and someone like Pam is more likely to quit her job. Like Pam, people with insecure anxious attachment style can experience increased health concerns, including greater drug and alcohol use, poor body image, risky sexual behavior, poor diet and less exercise, more stress, anxiety, and depression. It's possible that Pam was raised under a neglectful parenting style, characterized by a lack of parental involvement in the child's life, which can result in an insecure, anxious attachment style, where the child somewhat seeks the caregiver for comfort, but that may not always result in their distress diminishing. Meet Chad, who has an avoidant attachment style. Like all insecure styles, he feels vulnerable in his relationships and has problems with emotional regulation, including disproportionate situational fear and anxiety, and sees himself as weak, helpless, and dependent on the relationship. In their career, insecure avoidant attachment style people report more coworker conflict and concerns over schedules. They analyze themselves as having low performance ratings and expect their coworkers to view them the same and are more likely to quit their jobs. Like all insecure attachment styles, Chad's avoidant attachment style does impact his health, including greater drug and alcohol use, poorer body image, risky sexual behavior, poorer diet and less exercise, and overall more stress, anxiety, and depression. Avoidant attachment style could be a result of being raised under an authoritarian parenting style, which is punitive and controlling, and often the child is not comforted by their caregiver or seek them when they are distressed. Meet Lizzie, who has a disorganized attachment style, whereas fear without solution is the driving force in her behaviors and emotions. In relationships, Lizzie's fear of attachment figures comes off as contradictory and confusing. In times of distress, Lizzie approaches her partner in a need of comfort only to turn away and become avoidant, leaving her partner in a position of uncertainty. In conflict, Lizzie impulsively reacts in anger, which has led to verbal and physical aggression within the relationship. In the workplace, Lizzie is more apt to keep to herself and tends to work on projects alone instead of in a group or asking for assistance. Due to her unlearned ability to emotionally regulate and find a solution to problems, she has started to experience job burnout and no longer finds her job satisfying. Lizzie experiences severe headaches, backaches, and muscle pain throughout the day. Most times, she even feels depressed and anxiety-ridden. Lizzie's disorganized attachment style may be associated with her upbringing. Her mother never set firm boundaries with Lizzie and rarely monitored Lizzie's activities or required her to act with regard to herself or others, which may be associated with a permissive parenting style. Her father was more demanding and controlling and at times downright neglectful, which could be associated with an authoritarian or neglectful parenting style. Now that you've heard the ways in which different parenting styles may have an impact on adult attachment styles, another important consideration that may also impact adult attachment styles is a person's social experiences as they progress through life. 